Okay, so I'm making this video because I received a comment um, about my um, video I just posted about giving up dating and I thought this was extremely important to make, especially because I suffered from this for about three years. Um, I didn't know how to deal with it and eventually I found a way to deal with it. And that is FOMO. FOMO when you give up dating. The fear that you're missing out. How to actually get like resolve it permanently and how to actually have a fulfilling life where you just don't need, you don't feel the pressure at all. So I'll preface this video by saying that basically the number one reason why it's such a FOMO is so prevalent when you try to give up dating, especially if you're a guy, is because your ratio of life to dating is skewed. For example, you're living 50% of your life is to do with dating or surrounding dating, whereas the rest is your actual life. Whereas when you decide like me to give up dating, I technically haven't 100% given up dating because I have used Tinder twice and gone to clubs. And even this year, I plan to use Tinder twice for one week, once in February, and once in July for one week. So, but I have pretty much, it's, it's look, it's pretty much 100% given up dating. But what I'm trying to say is that the ratio is skewed. So for, for people who pop, like probably give it up, my ratio of dating to life is probably like, it's probably like 1% to do with dating and 99% to do with real life. And basically what I'm gonna to talk to talk about in this video, these five steps are what's going to change the ratio of life to dating in your favor so that you're basically, your brain, whatever you focus on, whatever you're constantly focusing on, your brain thinks is important. So the less you focus on dating, the less important your brain thinks it is, and therefore the less FOMO you're going to have. So I wrote it down these five steps. The first step is something that I did. And I, I think it's, it's, it's very, very good for guys because, um, because of our relentless, relentlessness, um, just to get, to get a girlfriend and stuff. Um, the first step is you have to fail. I, I literally took, I gave myself one year. It was 2019. I gave myself one year to get, to get a girlfriend or to find someone, um, worth having a partner you know I gave myself one year I brute brute force I just tried all sorts you know everything even cold approaching people who are like 50 years old <laughs> in like the Morrison supermarket is ridiculous I tried everything and um yeah I failed I mean okay I was successful a little bit but it was not what I consider um it wasn't what I was looking for in terms of dating. So you have to burn yourself out. That's literally the, the first step. Burn yourself out, fail. And once you do that, your brain, your subconscious, it's going to be like, okay, I've tried everything. I've tried everything. There's no, there's literally nothing else to try. Okay, I guess it's just time to let go. And that's the thing, you let go. The second step, the second step is you have to stop looking at videos or articles that have to do with dating or relationships or men and women dynamics. You have to give it up. This is a, this, this sounds similar to a video I made in 2019, but basically I had to rehash this. Just give up and permanently like commit to not looking at those videos or those articles. And what's gonna happen is one month, you're not gonna feel much in your life. Two months, you're gonna start feeling an excitement about life and you're gonna start having a clear mind about life. By the third month, you're really gonna notice like, wow, I actually feel excited about trying new things in life and living my life. And then beyond that, you really start to live life and the FOMO decreases and decreases because you're filling your life up with more fulfilling stuff in the long term. The third thing, 
is you have to stop looking at celebrities and sports and limit your internet usage. I have a, I have a rule now where I limit my usage to 15 minutes um, every hour, except for certain circumstances, which I've written in my rule sheet, in my bedroom. But it's pretty much 15 minutes every hour. So that, that severely limits my, my um, scrolling and my searching of just random stuff and coming across articles, like dating articles and stuff like that. It just, I just, it's just the best thing to do. And the fact that I don't look at celebrities or sports, like if I, if I have a suggestion on YouTube, where it's like an NBA video or a sport video, I scroll up, I skip it. I say, don't suggest this kind of video anymore. Don't suggest this subscriber anymore. By doing this, you're telling your brain that your life is important. Those people are not your life. They're not, you're not living their life. Your life's important. And so you're going to increase your self-esteem in your life. And as you increase your self-esteem in your life, you're not going to have as much FOMO because your, your brain is like, okay, my life is fulfilling. There's no need to look for external things to, to be fulfilled. Like, don't, how do I say this? There's no need to look for dating, which is similar to sports or celebrities, which are an external thing to be fulfilling. I can live my own life and, and um, yeah, find fulfillment in the things I want to do. Also, I forgot to say that when you're giving up online dating videos and articles, you have to unsubscribe to people who talk about dating. There's so many people I used to subscribe to who I used to watch. Um, and they're, obviously, they're racking up millions of subscribers now. I had to unsubscribe, unsubscribe from them. Like, literally say, do not suggest this video anymore. There's some, there's some people who haven't watched in like a year, at least. Just unsubscribe. Just unsubscribe. Number four. This is probably from f about month four to about six months since you stopped dating and your brain is starting to feel excited about life. Now, this is when you start to make plans about the things you always wanted to do. What you want to be at age 30, what you want to be when you're age 40, what you want to do when you're age, by the time you're age 50. And you start actually transmuting your life, your energy, your emotion that you were using to put into dating. You start, you start, um, you start transmuting that into the life that you want to live. And once you start that journey and you take those small steps, you're going you're gonna to start feeling this deep sense of fulfillment, this deep sense of, it's basically serotonin, a serotonin high that you're saying that, okay, life is meaningful. In fact, there's a, <laughs> Jordan Peterson was talking about this, about how meaning is an instinct. It's so deep, meaning. It's not just a psychological state. It's, a, it's actually an instinct. We have an instinct for, for having a meaningful life. And that's the thing. You start to do this because you're not focused on dating anymore. Your life becomes meaningful to you. And you, you start to actually subconsciously go towards the things you always wanted to do, which will actually give you more long-term meaning. That's step four. Step number five to permanently kill the FOMO is now that you're about five, six months up, of giving up dating, now you can plan long term. Like literally, the the one quote that I would say is most people underestimate what they can what the most people overestimate what they can achieve in one year, and they underestimate what they can achieve in ten years. You're not going to be able to understand this quote, this feeling of I have time, this feeling of there's no need to rush my life and rush all the enjoyment. I can plan things and take on one habit at a time. You won't understand this feeling until you give up the dating. Because when you're in the dating mindset, everything is short term. One week ahead, one month ahead. That's a maximum your brain can think of things. But once you give it up, your brain starts to actually get space and starts to think, okay, what can I achieve in 10 years? You start to break things down. And what happens is, is that you actually achieve much more than you expect. You think... You think something will take 10 years, you achieve in like three years. It's happened to me. Like the salary I have now, or the job I have now, is something that I thought would take me 20 years to achieve. And I achieved it like in four years because I was starting to focus less and less and less on dating and more and more and more life and what I want to achieve. And that's the same for you. 
you will start to achieve things that were thought just unimaginable and out of reach because you're now thinking long term, you haven't got the distraction and you're just fulfilled. You have the meaning instinct. It's an instinct. Let me end this video with this. Meaning is an instinct. You give up the dating, you commit to not looking at those videos or articles, unsubscribe from those people talking about that. Even comment on video, make, make a comment on one of these videos saying that you will commit to doing that for a year. You do that, you will get meaning long term and the FOMO will just disappear. And you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked at how fulfilled you feel in life and how happy you are. Forgot one bonus thing to add. One bonus thing to add is retain your self-esteem and energy. And the only way to do that Stop looking around at people. When you go out driving, when you're driving your car and you see a girl or a person or someone on the road, stop looking at them. Just focus on your driving. When you're out and about, you know, walking around in the town centre, don't look around at people. Don't try and look at their faces to get that validation. Just focus straight ahead. Trust me, it sounds stupid. But this, this rule, this human magnet rule, you can look at my video about being a human magnet. That's going to increase your self-esteem and it's going to lower the FOMO even more. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Hope that's useful to you guys. Peace.